Everyone has been talking about building businesses with AI and for good reason. The advancement of AI has taken the world by storm. But while most people are just playing around and having fun with AI, I'm going to show you how you can use AI to either start a no upfront cost business or significantly increase your existing business's revenue. I guarantee you're going to find something new in this video, so don't miss this one. The first AI we're going to look at, which is highly underrated and a huge market, is creating high quality pitch decks quickly using Tome.app, and I'm going to show you how. Now, while it's technically still in beta, which most AIs are, Tome.app is incredible for several reasons. Not only will Tome generate headings and text for you describing your business idea, it also utilizes DAL-E, OpenAI's art generator, meaning you get both descriptive text and thought-provoking visuals created directly for you in your pitch deck. This is particularly helpful for someone like me as I'm always thinking of new business ideas and I need these decks to get other team members on board. But the problem is always getting over the first hurdle, structure and writer's block. This is where Tome comes in. Let's check it out. Let's say I have a new business idea for an AI that links to your MetaMask wallet and automatically audits every contract you interact with. The goal is to prevent users from interacting with malicious contracts. Okay, so let's tell Tome what it is that we want to create. Okay, so now it is gonna generate the pages, it's gonna generate headings, it's gonna generate text, descriptive text, and then of course, it's going to generate images. Okay, so Tome has just created eight pages, basically creating a pitch deck in favor of my idea and how using this AI software will improve security and reduce people from getting their MetaMask wallets hacked. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what it came up with. On the first page, it says secure MetaMask with AI, protect yourself from malicious threats. Perfect, it's very descriptive and definitive of what the idea is supposed to be. We go into the next one. It's basically just showing a breakdown of what the pages are. So let's head into page three. Page one introduction, our new AI will protect your MetaMask wallet from malicious threats by auditing every smart contract you interact with. You can trust our AI to keep your funds safe and secure. And then of course it has this visualization on the right. So let's move on to the next one. Benefits of AI, our AI utilizes advanced algorithms to detect and prevent malicious attacks on your MetaMask wallet. It's designed to be highly efficient and reliable, ensuring that your funds are always safe. Obviously, I'm not going to use every single piece of text verbatim what it says in the images, but the point is I'm definitely going to use a lot of the text and the headings that it gives me, and then I'm just going to build on top of it, and it gets me over that writer's block hurdle and helps me get into the creative flow of actually creating this pitch deck, making it visual appealing and also descriptive and insightful to whoever I'm pitching to. I can drag and drop. You can do a lot. So imagine creating a very niche business where all you do is create pitch decks for upcoming startups. Not only can you provide high high quality and descriptive content within these pitch decks fast, you can also significantly increase your output and take on more clients. The third business idea that we're gonna look at is using Midjourney to commission art. There's actually a ton of ways you can do this and I've even been doing this and I am not an artist and I'm gonna show you how. But if you're an artist, you can use Midjourney to significantly increase your output of your commissions by having Midjourney create very specific layers and designs, such as objects, accessories, or background layers for scenery. Now, if you're not an artist, something that I've been doing recently is posting really good quality AI art on a digital art theme page that I own with over 100,000 followers. From there, I leave a story highlight of the best posts with the commission link between $50 to $150, where they can then go and commission art if they want to. Now, if I really wanted, I could create an additional theme page that only posts the best AI art online. From there, I would funnel the traffic into DMs or even a basic website that offers my followers the ability to purchase their own piece of AI artwork. Now, while you may be thinking who would do that when you could just use Midjourney, Dali, or Stable Diffusion yourself, you have to think about the consumer perspective around convenience, and the best example is Lens. As you probably already know, Lenza is an AI application that focuses on a very specific niche, generating AI avatars. And Lenza has managed to generate over $25 million doing this. And the craziest part, they are using Stable Diffusion's open source AI. So basically the founders of Lenza realized that all they needed to do was create a convenient way consumers could purchase a package full of AI avatars without having to figure out how to navigate the intricacies of AI prompt builders. And from there that creates business models of itself so using other AI's open source API keys to plug it in, build a front end, and create convenience for a user to do whatever it is that they want to do in a very simple and effective way. The next business is using ChatGPT and Quillbot together to create advertisements, newsletters, and other forms of copy for businesses. So apparently Google can detect a lot of the output from ChatGPT and other AIs, such as long form content like blog posts and articles. So after we create what we want within ChatGPT, we'll just copy and paste it into Quillbot's AI, which uses artificial intelligence to reword everything, make it sound more human, and ultimately pass the human written test. There's so many things you can do with this, but let's say you want to start an SMMA or social media marketing agency. 
ChatGPT can take you from zero to 100 very quickly and make it seem as if you have multiple employees. Let's take one of the most important things when it comes to marketing, advertisements. As I mentioned in my last video, writing captivating sales copy can be the difference of winning a long-term customer or losing the sale. Now let's say we're running advertisements for a business that sells shoe cleaning products. I'm gonna tell ChatGPT that I need social media advertisements for Facebook and Instagram for pink ladies shoe cleaning product. So now it's giving me a couple of ideas that I can use for advertisements for this product. But after it's done with this prompt, I'm gonna ask it to give me specific headlines and text that I can use on Facebook and Instagram. So now I told it to write three eye-catching headings for advertisements that will basically just make users stop scrolling. And then I told it that the traffic is cold and that these are new customers. So it doesn't think that I'm trying to sell to customers that I already have. Okay, so now it gave me three eye-catching headings for the advertisement to make users stop scrolling. Say goodbye to dirty scuff shoes with pink lady shoe cleaning. You get the point. Okay, now let's tell it to add wit and humor. Okay, so you can do a lot of things with this, but this was just an example. I told it to add wit and humor to these headings, and then it even went as far as breaking down headings and explaining why they're puns and stuff like that. Okay, so now it gave me three pieces of very well-written copy that I can use for these advertisements. Now, let's say I want to shorten them to only two sentences and add humor. Okay, so now it came up with three more. It shortened them and then added a bit of humor, so you get the point. You can basically tell it to do anything you want. You can keep tailoring and fine tuning these advertisements so that you get some really strong captivating headings and sales copy. Meaning not only will it help you write compelling copy to get your consumer's attention, but it will exponentially increase your output, freeing up time and allowing you to take on more clients. You can even take it a step further and do this exact same process with highly converting landing pages, automated email funnels, which are incredibly important and probably a whole other business idea within itself and tons more. Just like blockchain technology, AI is coming whether we like it or not. And I don't know about you guys, but I wanna make sure that I'm on the right side before everyone else catches on. Whether or not you start a business from these four concepts, hopefully it opened your eyes to the endless possibilities of AI and how it can optimize our daily lives and our personal businesses. If you found this video helpful or insightful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe because there's plenty more to come. Until next time, peace.